Caution. Before using this product, read and fully understand the operating instructions and all decals on the product. This is necessary to prevent injury to the operator and damage to the product. Use this tool on strut springs only. Do not attempt to compress any other type of spring or use this tool for any other purpose. Do not use this tool if it is visibly worn, distorted, or damaged. Always check condition of the rubber hook pads on all six hooks before using this tool. Replace if damaged or missing. Always wear appropriate eye protection. Inspect the spring of the strut assembly for any damage or corrosion. Spring break breakage during the compression could cause injury. If the strut assembly is difficult to compress or the spring bows or tilts, release and reposition the strut assembly. Keep fingers and hands clear of the upper hook area at all times. Warning. Failure to properly position the strut assembly in the tool could result in serious injury from sudden release of the strut assembly parts. Never remove the piston rod nut when there is any spring pressure on the lower spring seat. Use extreme care when working with a compressed spring. Hey everybody, Tom with Brannock Industries. You can mount it to a wall or post. There's a couple of holes in the back plate. Or you can get an optional bench mount or the optional model 744 cart. This tool is intended for McPherson strut style springs or coil over shock uh, struts and it has a 3,000 pound compression capacity which will pretty much handle most springs out there today. It's made up of a set of upper hooks and a set of lower hooks the lower hooks, each left and right one, is independently adjustable. That's to adjust to the uh, helix of the coil. The back one is stationary, and they all slide in and out and have a little bit of rotation that way. Uh, the upper hooks, each one is independently adjustable. It's got four positions on this compression head. And again, you adjust those to the to the angle of the spring seat or the upper coil of the spring. All right, next we're going to load the strut into the tool. And uh, one thing you want to do is maybe pull that rear hook out. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put the strut in and we're going to engage the lowest coil on the spring. The spring goes up from, from right to left, so our right hook will come in here left hook there. And then what you want to do, you want to make sure all your hooks are about equally spaced in. And then what we want to do is we want to make the coil to be parallel with these posts and the back posts. Because as you can see, this strut cartridge actually kind of runs at an angle. And sometimes it can be confusing. You, you center that strut. But in, in all cases, we want to make the spring parallel with the posts. So once we get that done, you look at it from the front, from the side. So now we can kind of rotate the spring up a little bit. So this right hook is, is about as low as it can engage on the spring. Now we'll position the upper hooks. We do not want to compress on this top plate because in this strut, that's a bearing plate and under compression that could actually spin. So on this strut we can actually grab on the upper spring seat just below the bearing plate and this one's actually pretty level so I'm going to leave all the hooks positioned in that lowest position. And it's best to always try to position this in the lowest hole possible. That'll give you the most clearance in here to get in with your impact gun. Okay, now we're ready to compress the spring. All our hooks are engaged. I like to always kind of check every hook as you're compressing, making sure they're all contacting. And you compress to the point of 
the spring coming off that lower spring seat. So there we're loose. There's no tension on the strut assembly because I can move it like this. So we're now ready to take the impact wrench and remove the nut holding in the strut cartridge. Once you have your spring compressed, you're going to want to take a clamp and clamp the spring to the strut cartridge housing. That way when you take the nut off it won't fall out. Since we have our coil spring and assembly centered, underneath the compression shaft we're going to use a uh, swivel knuckle on the impact wrench and the top bearing plate can be removed release the spring while holding on to the strut assembly at this point you can insert your new strut cartridge or if you had to replace the coil, you could release tension on the coil and take the spring out and do that. Today we're going to show you how to put the new strut cartridge back in the spring. Line it up with your bottom spring seat. Clamp it again to hold it in place. Upper spring seats in place. Top nut is secure. We can remove the bottom clamp and release tension on the spring. This example would be a coil overshock. This particular one would be a rear shock because this does not have an upper bearing plate. It's just got an upper spring seat. Therefore, you can compress on the upper spring seat. And again, we have all our hooks engaged going towards center equally. And this one here, you can now compress. On this example, it's another coil over shock. But this one's got a very irregular top plate. So what we're going to do, we're going to engage the top hooks on the coil itself. So as you can see, traveling in the helix of the spring, we have this hook up one notch, this one on the bottom, and the rear one's also on the bottom. They're engaging equally. All hooks are in about the same. On this strut assembly, we again have a swiveling upper bearing plate, but on this one there's no room to grab on to the upper spring seat, so we're going to put the top hooks on the uppermost coil. Again, the bottom ones are arranged where the right one is going to be starting at about as low a point as possible. We don't have a lot of coils in this spring, so that's important. As we work our way to the top, we have this hook in the second position, this one in the lowest position, and the back one in the second position, grabbing the next coil up, and we're able to compress the spring. <laughs> 